right, good morning. <laughs> if you caught what I was doing there, I was drawing a circle, but actually it wasn't quite drawing a circle. Um, I didn't usually have to draw big circles. I use like a plate or a, a bowl or an ice cream bucket. Uh, in this case, I did drew, drew a dodecagon. There it is, the word of the day, dodecagon. A polygon having 12 sides and 12 sh angles. So there you go. Huh. Smarter than the average bear. Cool. All right. So we've drawn a circle or a dodecagon. And uh, you can draw a circle. Doesn't matter. You can just grab a dinner plate or uh, uh, just draw a circle. You can even use a compass if you want to. But uh, I thought I'd draw a circle like this and, or a dodecagon. And what I thought I'd do is sort of mimic the idea that I'm drawing on a drum. Because often when I uh, make circular drums out of pieces of cedar, uh, this is how it's cut. So when you cut it like this and glue it together, it looks something like this. And then you can take the little, little angled bits and sand them off and you get a pretty fairly round drum. So I'm going to mimic the idea that I'm going to do a drawing on a drum. So, a bear drawing today. So, I had a bear story. So, here we go. All right. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Um, yeah. I knew it. We all know it. An old jelly bean. There. First step. Of the jelly bean. So, I guess while I'm drawing this, as you draw your jelly bean, I'll tell a story while we're doing this. And so, hopefully we'll... Yeah, so here we are. We're drawing actually uh, in my house or in my office here. In my office office. I'd like to get you out in my real office, but it's raining today and it's, uh, it's a little wet. And paper and rain doesn't quite mix. It'd be nice to do this outside, but oh, oh well. In any case, we'll make do and uh, maybe the next film I do I'll be outside a bit more. It's a bit wet. Oh! Here's my phone. That could be my plumber. Yay, my hot water tank. Let's take a look. Oh, okay. That wasn't my plumber. All right. Um, okay. We are starting our bear shape today. And so I'll well, start with a bear story. Once upon a time, bear, as we know him, was not the big, huge, hulking bear, this big, ginormous bear. No, actually, bear. Very small. He was like big as a mouse. Bear was bottom of the forest and alongside with mouse, and snail, and ant, under the leaves and through the grass. And he's a very small bear. But bear had one good thing for him, going with him. Bear was always a happy bear. He was just always happy, always positive. So much so that when he woke up in the morning, he'd go, oh, it's a sunny day. Oh, it's going to be a great day, a great day. Yeah. Being so positive was the one thing that Bear had going for him. He was just a happy bear. Always positive. And this morning, he was particularly happy because he was just so happy. The sun was shining and it looked like a good day and he smelled like a great day. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a great day. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> and he went skipping out of his little hole in the ground, his little mini cave, through the grass, tall grass, normal to you and I, but for him, it's very tall grass. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm, I got down. It's gonna be a great day. It's so good to be a bear. <laughs> I'm a bear. I'm a bear. Well, being in the forest, he wasn't alone because Raven just happened to be flying over at the same time. And Raven, hearing bear talking so what what is that sound uh, what 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 who who is that and he looked down and, and he saw a bear skip along <laughs> it's good to be a bear i'm a bear i'm a bear it's gonna be a great day <sighs> starting to tear up <laughs> as he was flying overhead and he was tearing up so much he couldn't see where he's going and right there whack, he hit a tree oh boy Raven hit that tree so hard he fell down, down, down he went. Oh, man. And he hit so many branches on the way down. And Bear heard the commotion and looked up. And he saw him. He was Oh, oh, oh my gosh! Oh, 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 oh the poor birdie! Oh, oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh dear! Oh boy! Oh boy! He looked up. Saw his poor friend Raven fall to the ground. Oh no! Oh dear! Oh poor birdie! Oh dear! Oh, oh my! Oh my! Oh golly! Oh, oh oh this is terrible! Oh poor little bird! Oh, oh, oh dear! What are we gonna do? Oh, oh, oh dear! Bear ran over to Raven who was laying there in the grass. Oh. Considerable pain. Oh, oh, oh. A bear. Oh, 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 oh poor oh, birdie. Oh, 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 dear. Oh, no. What are we going to do? Oh, oh, what are we going to do? What are, oh, 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 boy. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, poor birdie. And Raven, who broke his wing. Oh, and he broke his beak. Because he ran into that tree so hard his beak was crooked. And his wing was broken because he broke it on the way down. And, oh, and he broke his leg when he hit the ground. Oh, poor Raven. He was in so much pain. Oh, 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 I just, oh, I just want to die. Oh, please take me now, creator. Oh. Bear, here you go. Oh, oh no, don't die. Oh, 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 
don't die, don't die, oh dear, oh no, 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 oh what are we gonna do, oh. Raven reached out, oh, oh, I, oh, oh, I, 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 help, oh, oh. I'm bear. Oh no! Oh, the poor little birdie! Oh, 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 oh no! No! Oh, this is terrible! Oh, 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 what are we gonna do? Oh, 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 oh. oh I know. Oh, I'll give him mouth to mouth or mouth to beak resuscitation. Oh, poor little birdie! Oh, I'll help him! I'll help him! Oh, oh boy! And he reached over and grabbed Raven's beak and and Raven went <coughs> looking at Bear, kissing him on the beak. What are you doing? Well, I'm not dying. I, I'm just taking a rest. <laughs> I'm trying to help you, birdie. Oh, you. Oh, what's the matter? What's the matter? I hit that tree and oh, oh my wing. Oh god. Oh boy. Oh, oh my leg. Oh. What did you do to my beak? Ow! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! There! Oh! Oh! I can't believe it! I'm in so much pain, and to top it all off, I've been kissed by a bear! Ah! Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm trying to help you. Oh, how can I help you? Oh, oh are you a doctor? Um, uh, no. Uh, I'm a bear. <laughs> yeah, I heard. Oh, wait, can you get me a doctor around here, a medicine man? I, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Oh. Oh dear, oh dear, oh, 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 I'll help you, oh, oh, oh poor old birdie, oh, I'll help you, I'll help you. Bear looked around. As high as he could, he stood up on his hind legs and looked over the grass. Oh, I don't see anybody. Oh. Raven, you gotta look higher than that. Oh, oh right, 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 right. I'll, I'll look higher. And so, Bear scrambled up a stump and looked around. Oh, I don't see anybody. I don't see a doctor. Oh, boy. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, dear. Raven. Oh. 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 You gotta go get a doctor. I'm in so much pain. Oh. Oh. Oh, golly. Oh, which wing is it? Is it this one? Oh, oh yeah, that's that one. Oh, oh, oh don't touch. Don't let it go. Don't touch. Don't touch. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that's terrible. Is it your leg, too? Is it that one? Oh, yeah, that's that one. Oh, don't touch. Oh, boy. Hey. <laughs> Falling out of character for a second. Uh, I was thinking, how many of you have you ever broken a bone? Have you ever broken a bone in your body? 
I am, uh-oh, how old am I? I think I'm 48. Mm-hmm. No, I'm 47, I think. Yeah, I will be 48 later this year. Um, <laughs> 47, I have never broken a bone in my body. I, I've never had to wear a cast or anything like that. So um, I, sometimes I'll go to school and I'll see one of you guys uh, wearing a cast and you broke your leg and like, oh my gosh, ooh, wow, that's so tough. <laughs> so I've never done that. Uh, I have no idea what it's like, but I can only imagine it'd be so painful. Now that I'm talking about this, I might set myself up <laughs> to break my leg. I don't want to break my leg. I'm usually pretty careful. Uh, as, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so, you know, if, you, if you've broken your leg, then I imagine it. But the worst I think I've done is I've sprained my ankle, and that was painful enough when I was grade one, I think, I sprained my ankle, so I fell from a little slide to the fireman's poles. Oh yeah, I remember now. <laughs> I remember. Um, we you we went up the staircase to the second floor, and you they had the um they had a fire pole, uh, a fireplace pole. Uh, it's the same place I told my cheese sandwich story, but it was a daycare, and we were oh my god we were doing such goofy things, we were uh, playing ghosts. And we put bed sheets over our head, and we're, woo, we're ghosts. Oh, I got a bed sheet over my head, and we're running around with being ghosts on the playground. And I go up to do the fireman's slide, but I got a sheet over my head. Oh. <laughs> and I reach out blindly for the fireplace pole, and I can't find it because the sheet's in front of me. And, whoop! <laughs> and down I go. You know, a good... 10 feet and wham, I hit my ankle and oh, <laughs> I was in, so, I mean, I thought it was the end of the world. I just, I thought I was going to die, <laughs> even grade one, but uh, clearly I'm okay now. So, uh, uh, <laughs> oh boy. So kids, keep the bed sheets off your head when you're playing on the playground. <laughs> they tend to get in the way. <laughs> Ah, uh, oh boy, uh, I can't believe it. Brings back memories. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm just gonna add some detail here to the uh, inner claw. I can't, I can't find a doctor. Oh, poor little raven. Oh, boy. I'll, I'll, I'll bring you to a doctor. Here. And so Bear grabbed Raven's good wing and started to drag him as hard as he could. And each pull, Raven was like, oh, oh, ah, oh, ow, oh, oh, stop it. Oh, stop it. Stop. This isn't working. Oh, okay. 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 All right. Okay. We'll have to do something else here. This isn't working. Oh, oh, I'm gonna, you're gonna kill me at this rate. Oh, okay. I'm about, I'll tell you what, you're, you're being, you're, you're trying to do the right thing. I understand that, but all right. Oh, oh boy. Where's Moose when you need him? Oh, or Elk. Or even Bear. Oh, they're big. You know, Bear, your problem is you just need to be bigger. That's all. How about... i tell you what. Oh, oh, what, what? i tell you what. How about... If you're helpful, I'll make you bigger. Oh, bigger! Oh, boy! Uh, I'll get to be.
be bigger. Oh boy. Oh boy. I get to be bigger. I get to be bigger. Oh, oh. Uh, how big? Bigger. Okay. You just. Wah. So. If uh, I help you, uh, I'll get bigger. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I keep getting bigger. <laughs> and then Raven, yeah. Yeah, you keep getting bigger. So if I help, keep helping, I get bigger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, I'll wave my magic wing that isn't broken. Here we go. All right, are you ready? Oh, oh boy, I gotta get bigger. I gotta get bigger. Oh boy, oh, this will be great. All right, here we go. All right, and sure enough, better got a little bit bigger. Bear was so excited that he was twice as big. Oh boy, I get to be twice as big. Oh boy. Oh, I'll help you now, Raven. Oh boy, oh boy. And Raven, oh, okay. No, 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 this doesn't work. Okay, okay, okay. So, so stop, 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 stop. Okay, you need to be bigger. Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, I get to be twice as big, oh boy, oh. And so, Raven waved his magic wing again. Oh, here we go. Bear who twice as big again. Now, he is quite sizable. Okay, Raven, here you go. Okay, 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 here, go, 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 go. Uh, I'll put you on my back. Okay, okay, easy though, easy, 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 ha, 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 oh, oh, okay, okay, all right. Okay, let's, let's, let's go and find the medicine man. He should be in the village over the hill here. Okay, just go slow. Oh, ah, ooh, he. And so there he walked slow. But, you know, he couldn't quite help himself because, you know, he'd uh, step over a branch or it's, uh, walk around a rock, or he'd uh, slip a little bit, and every little bump, oh, Raven would go, oh, ah, oh, ouch, oh, ow, oh, agony, oh, ha, oh, the bear being so compassionate said, oh, sorry, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, ah, uh, sorry, didn't mean that, oh, oh, sorry, oh, gosh, this must be painful. Yeah, yeah, it is painful. You tried breaking a leg and breaking a wing. Oh, breaking your beak, it's very painful. Oh. And eventually, Bear 
and found the medicine man. And the medicine man took poor Raven and doctored her up. Put a splint on his wing and put a cast on his little scrawny little leg. And took his beak and straightened it out. Bear was so excited. Oh, I get to be big. Oh, and so Bear, right there in the village, he said, Oh, uh, oh, do you need help with anything? I can help. I can help. And some of the people said, Um, yeah, well, uh, I don't know. There's a whole bunch of firewood over there we need to split. Oh, I, I could do that. I could do that. Oh, uh, let me help. Let me help. Well, Bear, with his sharp claws, he didn't have to use. A splitting axe, he just took the firewood and went. Just slashed that firewood right now. He was actually pretty handy at it. And all the people are like watching him go. Wow, whoa, look at him go. Look at all that firewood he's making. This is great. Oh boy, no more worrying about that. This will be fantastic. And with that, he started to grow. Oh, bro, is he getting bigger? He's getting bigger. Hey, look, bear, he's, he's getting bigger. Yeah, didn't he used to be like a tiny little guy, like a little bad boy? Oh, my goodness. Hey, bear, you're getting bigger. Do you realize that? Oh, yeah, I get bigger, all right. Uh, well, Raven said that I get bigger if I help people. Oh. Oh boy, oh boy. Oh, well, um, our roof, um, we, uh, we like some of those uh, roofs, uh, the, the, the boards, we like some of those boards moved out and have more sunshine coming in our longhouse. Think you can get up there and move some of those boards, those big rocks on top holding the boards down, because we don't have nails. Uh, so, could you, Move some of those big rocks and then move some of the boards open so we can have more sunlight coming in our longhouse. Could you do that? Oh, okay. Sure will. And so Bear went up there and he started to move the rocks and move the planks. And so more sunlight came in the longhouse because it was summertime. So it was a good time to have sunshine in the longhouse. And so some of the villagers said, oh, man, well, gee, if he's that good, that handy, um, gee, maybe he could do some, uh, hey, what about, um, uh, what if he, uh, helped us fish? We need, we need salmon. We're, you know, maybe, maybe he can help us do some fishing. Oh, boy. Oh, I, I like fish. I like fish. I like fish. Oh, I like them. Oh, boy. I'll help. I'll help. And so, Bear went down to the creek with the people, and he went in the creek and started fishing. And at first, Bear, he was bringing up all the little minnows this big. Oh, there, I got one. I got one. I got one. And the people were like, uh, you realize we're looking for salmon, you know, big fish like this big, you know, you know? Oh, right. Well, uh, so you can put that little guy back, okay? Oh, uh, oh, sorry. I'll put you back. So better put him back. And Bear went out and chased the salmon in the creek. It dove and splashed. Grabbed him in his big teeth. Oh, I got one! I got one! Oh, my! And Bear grew. And each salmon he caught, he grew some more. 
He grew and he grew. He was big. Big as a wolf. Big as a bobcat. Big as a cougar. Big as a deer. And finally, he was big. Bigger than a moose. He was huge as we know him today. Each salmon he caught. I don't know, the people cheered him on. Yay! Oh, yeah, this is great! Woo! All right! Bear caught hundreds of salmon for the villagers. He made himself quite useful and quite popular. In fact, the chief was so impressed, she said, Oh, my goodness, this is great. We are going to make you an honorary member to our village. You! belong to us. Or maybe it's not the way around. Maybe we belong to the Bear Clan. Can we take the Bear Clan as our crest? Oh boy, oh boy, this is great you guys. Oh wow, I finally got a home here. This is fantastic. So, Bear lived in the village and went out sometimes and went out across the mountain and had adventures, but he'd always come back to his friends in the village and check in, see how they're doing, and if they needed some salmon, he'd help them out and split wood and fish for salmon or help with any kind of chores, and he'd always get bigger. And that's what Bear was always doing. He was always helping people. He'd help Beaver, and Beaver got his tail stuck under a tree because the tree fell down on his tail. Bear was there, lifting out the tree with his great strength. <laughs> Couldn't do a thing to save poor Beaver's tail, because it was squashed flat, but he did take the tree off the tail. Uh, Bear would help in all kinds of situations, making himself even bigger. And so he gained a reputation that he is very helpful, very compassionate, very kind, and so he belonged. He just belonged at all the animals. Just he's cool. He's one of us. You may respect the bear. He's, he's you never know when you need help. And when you need help, bear will be there. He's always there. He's definitely one of us. Yeah. Belonging. Belonging is important. How we belong and where we belong, who we belong to. I mean, we all have families and we all have mom and dad and yes, they would say you belong, for sure. But you know, sometimes we go out and we want to experience things and uh, I'm just thinking about myself. I remember when I came to Salt Spring, I didn't have clue one where I was going to end up and what I was going to do. I mean, I, I wanted to work in the schools, but I didn't know, wasn't sure. So I, uh, um, you know, found some odd jobs and uh, worked my way up until finally I got the call to uh, work with School District 64. I, mean, I was so excited. I was kind of like a bear. Oh boy, oh boy, oh, ho, 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 I get to work in the schools. Maybe not like that, but <laughs> uh, I was excited. Um, and there was always, when I'm coming to the island, I, I constantly hear people um, tell, talk about this idea that, uh, um, you know, when are you an islander? When do you belong? Oh, well, you're an islander when you've been here for 30 years, like me. 30 years? Oh, I'll be like 78. I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> well, you'll be an Islander in 10 years. 10 years? Okay. You're an Islander in about five years. So, I don't know. I mean, when are you an Islander? When are you a Salt Spring? When are you an Islander? I, I don't know. I, yeah. I, I got all kinds of different answers.
Um, for me, when I felt I belonged, um, it happened at school. Now, you know, you look at me, cucumber, you know what I do and where I go and schools I visit. I'm out there playing floor hockey at lunch and, uh, yeah, yeah, just a big kid. <laughs> uh, but, you know, uh, I love it. Uh, uh, you know, I won't... Uh, not that I'm bragging, but you know, I, I think I'm, <laughs> I think I'm pretty popular. <laughs> uh, but I mean that in a in a good way that um, I'm popular so I can tell a story and, and just to make kids' lives, you know, to make them give them a little sunshine in their lives and to be able to tell a story or be able to relay some sort of truth or virtue. Or, um, some sort of positive note for the day. Um, I, that's okay. I don't mind being popular in that sense. And so uh, if I can use that to grab attention and tell those stories, you know, that's, that's what I, I'm fine with that. But you wouldn't believe it, but uh, way back when, when I was in school, especially, uh, especially... I'd say probably uh, middle school and through high school um, actually wasn't that popular. Um, I got picked on quite a bit. And um, got made fun of. How I dressed or my haircut or actually you can still make fun of my hair because it's kind of <laughs> I haven't been to the barber <laughs> in quite some time so uh, looking a little scruffy these days, I think, with everybody else. And my wife offered to give me a pig shade, but, uh, nah, it's okay. I'll go scruffy. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't that, I wasn't that popular, um, growing up. I got made fun of a lot, and, um, It's, it's no fun. Um, uh, that's why today I'm, I'm a bit more compassionate um, towards kids that are by themselves. I see them by themselves or they're just not talking to anybody. I, I want to go over and, hey, how's it going? What's, what's up? What's happening? You know, I'm always willing to be that champion for kids. And if I see kids being picked on, <laughs> I'm all over them like a bear. <laughs> hey, 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 come on, come on. So, um, um, just a, a, a chord in my heart, you know, for, for kids that are struggling to belong. Um, yeah, so I was, I was actually picked on. And that happened, uh, well, about 40, you know, 30 some odd years ago, 35 years ago. I can't even do the math. Uh, I'll just grab a year in there, 1987, around there. So however many years ago that is. Um, And, you know, go on, and go through college, and get married, and have a family, and move to Salt Spring. And, you know, that's just way in the past, you know? And, um, and really, I hadn't thought about that, you know? Just, just wasn't apparent. But, you know, sometimes, I think, you know, more than sometimes, I think very often, um, those events in our lives, um, if we were to draw a circle and that circle was incomplete, that wounding, that hurt, made that circle incomplete.
I didn't know. That little circle was incomplete deep within me. It wasn't until one day I was at Salt Spring Elementary and being there, you know, the happy times out there. It was recess time and so, uh, you know, guys are all up there doing re recess, what kids do at recess. And, playing on the playground and knocking the soccer ball around. And I think that's what I was doing. I was, I was knocking the soccer ball around the kids in the corner, way out in the corner of the field. And the bell rings. And everyone drops what they're doing. And they run into the school. Except one. I could see one student whom I'll give the first letter of his name. J. He knows who he is. If he's listening to this story, he knows. I see him, and he's running the opposite way of the kids. He's running out towards the field while everyone's running into the building. He's running out, and he's running out towards me. And I can see him. He's coming. And he comes all the way out to me, out the back of the field, and he says, Hey, Q! Give me a high five. And you came all the way out here to give me a high five? I, dude, like, that, when I was your age, that never happened to me. A kid purposely coming all the way out to give me a high five? Like, what? And I felt that little circle within me go, or that incomplete circle, now a full circle, totally complete. And I was like, oh my gosh. And I, I smiled and I kind of teared up a bit and like, that's cool, like, I belong, I belong, like, yeah, I belong, all right, cool. So, um, I remember going to the grocery store and I came across his dad and I told him the story and I remember him tearing up and saying yeah that's it that's my boy he would do that <laughs> that's so cool he actually came <laughs> ran across the field towards it to give me a high five that's that's a big deal <laughs> yeah I know it's I was I was totally floored so um but I will say this Don we have every reason to be so proud of your son. <laughs> so, thumbs up towards you and your family. Uh, wishing you all the best. Um, I hope this message finds you well and healthy. And um, I am just so blessed to be in a school filled with many great kids, including your son. And uh, uh, he just makes me feel belonging. I got, like I belong, like now I'm an Islander. I didn't have to wait 30 years to be an Islander. <laughs> you be an Islander in, well, it took me, well, first few days on the job. <laughs> so, um, uh, so belonging, we all want to belong. And um, it, is, it is our honor, it is our drive, it is our passion here at School of 664 and Indigenous Education. I got a great team. Uh, the core of my team is Shannon Johnson and Cheryl Ruff and myself. Uh, the three of us, we are totally driven to make you feel belonged and that you belong to this district and that you belong in our community, that we are here for you and we are just so proud and so Oh, every day is a joy to wake up to this job and that um, we get to reach out and just, you know, make everyone's life just that much better. So uh, with that, um, drawing a bear here and just putting the finishing touches on. Uh, well, actually, I've still got a ways to go to color, but I'm going to leave the coloring for you. I think you guys are pretty well geniuses at coloring. 
you guys taught me how to color, so um, we're going to uh, call that a pause and a break. So today is about the bear, spit youth, and the story of bear, how he belongs, and belonging is the key word of today. All right, thanks for watching. And until then, we'll see you next time. But, 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 keep the film rolling here because we have some excellent questions here to start a conversation. Perhaps your teacher might say, yeah, answer those questions. So I'm going to leave some questions here uh, while the film's rolling so that you can answer. Um, feel free to have your parents check out these questions too because it's kind of fun just to ask these questions for each other. So, fair question.